Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. For today's video, I'm going to be doing a get ready with me video and it is going to be on the look that I'm wearing right now. I use a lot of new products that I have added to my collection and I did have a comment on my latest Sephora haul that kind of inspired me to do a get ready with me again for my YouTube. I haven't done one in a minute and it felt so good to sit down and do my makeup and kind of talk about the products, give my opinion on them. So I went ahead and did that today so thank you so much for the idea and for the request if you are watching i use most of the products that were featured in that sephora haul plus other products that i have in my collection go ahead and get yourself either a snack or grab your makeup and your brushes and get ready with me let's go ahead and let's have some girl time together all right guys so let's get started so first i'm going to put a little bit of lip plumper which my favorite lip plumper lately has been the dr dennis grow lip plumper this one is so good I've had other plumpers where they either smell too spicy I don't like the way they smell I don't like the way they feel they make my face get red this one if I use it correctly does not do none of that I have to kind of apply it in the inside of my lips and not the outer edges because I am a little sensitive but it's so good it just helps to get rid of any lines on your lips and smooths them out so it's great for prepping before your lip products recently i tried this ardell brow glue but i still don't know how i feel about it this is the instant lamination lift it just takes a while to get tacky and i hate having to wait on products but i'm gonna try it again today and see how it goes i kind of just brush it all around the brows and then i usually work one at a time but with this product i feel that you can get it on both of the brows like really saturated and then you kind of wait a little bit for it to dry yeah definitely the best thing to do with this product is to put it on and then give it a few seconds for it to get a little tacky because if not you're just gonna keep the first time i used it i kept on brushing and brushing and brushing and they would keep falling because the product was just not dry enough but if you give it a little bit i really do like the hold on it but i feel like this might be too much hold for some people but if you have really stubborn brows like myself then you will probably really enjoy this product because it really does hold them where you want them so it does its job i don't think it's as beginner friendly because you really have to learn how to use the product so yeah that's the only negative and i always make sure to go in and clean up with a wipe around the areas like you can feel a little bit of tackiness so i make sure to clean up so that my concealer doesn't look patchy in those areas so i take a makeup wipe i love these these are from trader joe's and every single time that i go i pick them up they're really big but when it comes to hold the hold is definitely there so next i'm going to go ahead and clean up the brows with my nars soft matte complete concealer and a small flat brush and i'm going to clean underneath sometimes i clean on top and underneath but the last few times i did my brows i only did underneath just to give me a guide of where i want the brow it is so quiet i usually get ready with like a lot of music so when I'm doing videos for YouTube, it's like it feels super duper quiet right now. And then I'm just using this fluffy brush from my Anastasia Beverly Hills eyeshadow palette. I don't know if they still come with these, but I used to keep them just to blend out my brow. And now that we have sort of like the shape that we want, I'm going to go in with the Benefit Precisely My Brow Pencil and I'm using the shade 4. I used this pencil the other day and I really, really liked it. So I want to give it a try again. I have been doing my brows very effortless and very light. So I just use the pencil to fill in any spots that need to be filled in. And this pencil I noticed works so good on on top of gels on top of anything and i'm just gonna fill in wherever i want a little bit more definition okay yeah i think that looks good and now i'm just gonna go in with my refi brow tint gel and i'm just gonna go over them a little bit even though 
I don't even think they need it. All right, so now that my brows are done, I'm going to move on to my face prep. I'm gonna be taking my First Aid Beauty Facial Radiance Pads. These are my favorite pads to prep my skin for makeup. So this helps to exfoliate, tone, and brighten. I have probably gone through like, I don't even know how many of these. And I just love the way this preps my skin for makeup and usually when i do my makeup it's never right when i wake up so i like to use these because it kind of takes away the skincare that i did in the morning just in case there's some type of product that doesn't match well with makeup so i use the ones that i know work really good for makeup it just helps to give me a clean slate and i really just love the way that it feels on the skin it never makes my skin feel irritated so if you have sensitive skin i really recommend checking these out so now that this is dry i'm going to go in with the ilia the base face milk which i'm still trying out i got this not too long ago kind of looks like those milky toners but it's kind of just a very hydrating product for your skin and it just leaves your skin in really nice and glowy now i'm gonna go in with the charlotte tilbury magic water cream this is so good for makeup i think this product is great it's up there in price just like my tatcha the water cream but it feels so good and it works amazing underneath makeup and you guys every single time that my skin starts getting like so nice and clear i just cannot fight the urge to try new releases and new skincare and i always end up causing really bad breakouts on my skin so i'm recently getting over a horrible breakout and it was caused by the ordinary milky toner that was released not too long ago my skin said no i have marks here on the side of my face my chin was doing so good i don't even break out in my forehead no more and i have breakouts there so yeah can't use that product at all it also gave me like really rough texture so now i just have to undo all that so that was a no for me unfortunately so now underneath the eyes i go in with something pretty intense as you can see the difference from the eyes this is intense but I love it. This is from Honest Beauty and this is the Calm and Renew Melting Eye Balm. I have been using this one for a long time and I've talked about it on my videos. I just feel like it preps the eyes so nice and even though it does feel like it's going to be too heavy, my skin is dry so my skin really just loves these types of products. So here is the skin prepped. So I'm going to let that work its magic and I always start off with my eyes, which today I feel like playing with color. I haven't played with color in a minute and I will say I was craving a really colorful look, but at the same time, I feel like eyeshadow is just not as trending anymore, even though I always love creating beautiful eye looks. But I myself, lately, I've really been enjoying like no shadow just because it's quicker. I did mention to you guys that I usually don't like to wear color when I go out. I usually just do like neutral looks when I'm going out, but for YouTube, I love to get creative and play with color just because it's super relaxing to me. So I already picked out all of the products that I want to use today. Some of them I've used on my channel. Some of them I've never used. Smashbox recently sent over some eyeshadow palettes. They sent over a green one, which I am dying to do a look for like fall time. But I figured today we're gonna go with bougie vibes and this is the palette aren't those colors so pretty i usually don't go for these colors but i want to i don't know i want to do something today with this i'm just going to prep my eyelids with concealer i'm using the Danessa myrick's yummy skin concealer i don't know how it's going to work as an eyeshadow base but we shall see but this concealer is really nice so the first color i'm going to go in with is clay mate which is this color right here it's with a fluffy crease brush and i'm just gonna put that all over the crease of the eye i don't even know what type of look i'm doing i just want to use i know it's going to be kind of like purple and burgundy Okay, now I'm going to take the color that is next to the first color we put on and this one is called Excessive, which is right here. And then this is going to go more on the outer lid and trying not to bring it too high up. 
And then with a fluffy brush, I'm kind of just making sure that there's no harsh edges. If you ever feel like an eyeshadow is not blending the way that you want it to, you can always go back to that first color that you put on and the first brush that you used and you load your brush up with that color and go over the second color and it's going to blend it out so easily because that color was there first. So it's just going to blend it into that color. I really, really like the shimmery shades in here. This shade right here. I'm gonna take some of that shade and I'm gonna put that in the inner corner of the eye. So that open space right here. The formula for these eyeshadows, I don't think it's my favorite. I thought it was going to be a little more pigmented, but I have had to add, they're beautiful colors, but I have had to kind of pack it on just so that it can show up. And it does have a lot of fallout as well. So if you do like the colors in this palette, I would suggest doing your eyes first because it is going to fall all over. I am going to take this deeper purpley color to smoke out the look because I feel like it definitely needs a little bit more depth to it. So that color is called Charge It and it's this color right here. I am not too impressed with the formula of this. Unfortunately, I mean, I really like the colors. Maybe once I do the rest of my makeup, I will like it more, but I just feel like it's taking me a little long to get the look that I want or that I usually get quicker with other shadows. And then I have like a bunch of fallout. I don't even know if I could save this. Yeah, I'm definitely ready to move past the eyes because not doing what I would like for it to do. Let's go ahead and like clean up all this mess. Okay, I'm gonna take the same white that I used earlier for my brows and I'm just gonna clean up. First off, clean up the fallout. So you, that's the good thing about doing your eyeshadow first is that you get to clean all this up and this doesn't go all over your base and there is nothing worse than doing your makeup and then something messing up it's horrible so now i'm gonna go ahead and clean this upward like so since i wiped away my eye cream i wanted to try this belief aqua bomb eye gel that i talked about in my last sephora haul just to see if it works nicely with makeup. These types of videos can go either way because the products can be really good or you can have some products that you don't enjoy and then your makeup doesn't come out the way you want it to. So hopefully the rest of the products will make up for the eyeshadow. So that feels super duper cooling under the eyes and let's see how it works with makeup. So now I'm just gonna put a little bit of the Fenty mascara. Not too much because I am going to apply some falsies, but just enough to blend them in together. All right, so I'm going to apply some lashes and I'll be right back. All right, so now we can move on to our face. So I do have new products to try out. So I do have two new, I think these are primers from Benefit that were sent over to me. I have the Pore Professional and also the Matte Primer and the Pore Primer. So I might do a little bit of the Pore Primer. I don't want to do the matte because I am going to use the NARS Primer that I talked about in my haul video. So this is the NARS Light Reflecting Hydrating Primer. And I only use this once the day that I filmed. I think I used it that day, but it looks like this and it feels really, really nice on the skin. Feels super duper hydrating, almost like pillowy. That's the first thing that came to my mind. Soft and very, very hydrating and it leaves a very nice glow to the skin. So I really like this primer. I am going to put a little bit of the Benefit, the Professional Pore Primer. This takes me back so long ago. Benefit was one of the first brands I would say after MAC that I started to get into when I really started getting into makeup and this goes back a very long time. I'm gonna put this just right here where I have the most noticeable pores and I do remember this feeling really nice and very smoothing. So wow, yeah, very smoothing and blurring. 
it's definitely blurring. I don't know if you can tell this side from this side. I'm not sure how good the lighting is in today's video, but it definitely blurs it, but does not suck all the moisture out of your face either. So this one's really nice for anyone who wants something that's going to smooth and blur the skin, but not completely mattify the skin. I haven't used it in so many years, so I'm happy to have it back in my makeup collection. The claims are to minimize the look of pores and fine lines, helps makeup apply evenly and stay put get silky soft smoother than smooth skin it definitely makes your skin feel super smooth so for foundation i have two products that i wanted to use today i've never combined them together so the first one is the latest release from charlotte tilbury this is the unreal skin sheer glow tint hydrating foundation stick i use this alone and it made my skin look so good i was very shocked because i thought that i was going to hate this because i thought it was going to emphasize pores way too much but when you powder and do the rest of your routine it just gives you a really dewy radiant look but i was thinking about using it today underneath another foundation and this is the fenty beauty soft lit foundation so i'm going to start off with the charlotte tilbury i got this one in the shade five medium and this one i was super duper iffy about this product if you are looking for something that will give you super dewy looking skin this is such a good product but it's not a lot of coverage it's very very light coverage and if you have remotely even a little bit of oily skin i would not recommend this because it is so dewy this gives you like that shine that us dry girls wish that we naturally had so this is how it looks applied without blending it out and as you can see it does even out any redness and just makes your skin look even so i'm going to use the makeup by mario f4 face brush and i'm just going to blend it in which honestly takes no effort so this is great also for every day to just look put together and your skin looks hydrated and glowy so i definitely recommend it for dry skin i really like it and i'm gonna continue to use this product i'm going to see how it looks underneath foundation today but even when i wear it by itself and then just go over the areas that need more coverage with a little concealer it's so good and it does set down nicely with powder so it works nicely with other products Products. I really really like it and I think this might turn into a favorite for me So I'm gonna go in with the a little bit of the Fenty foundation not too much either because I don't want it to get too thick I'm just gonna do like one pump and I use the shade 210 in this foundation and I'm going to do Just a few dots and let's see how that ends up looking it just gives a little bit more coverage and it just adds to that dewy look because this foundation is also a glowy foundation so they work together perfectly really really nice i love it now before i go in with concealer i am gonna go in with a cream blush these are the makeup by mario soft pop blush sticks and they sent over the new shades that they released in this line i already tried the watermelon so today i'm gonna go with pomegranate because i feel like the peach is not really gonna go with the eye look so i am gonna try this one which does look a little scary for my skin but i want to try it out and see how it looks so i am going to use the same f4 brush and i'm not going to put this directly onto my skin i'm going to put it onto my brush first Ooh. Yeah, that's pretty pigmented, so I'm only going to use a little bit for both sides. And I've been doing my blush first because I've just been seeing this done all over TikTok. And I kind of like that because you can be very messy with your blush application and just get it everywhere. And then your concealer is going to clean up the areas where you don't want that much blush. But I feel like it looks really nice, so it does that technique definitely works for me this shade is going to be so nice on tan and deeper skin tones and even my skin tone i can pull it off i just can't go like crazy with it but it does give you a very nice flushed color i also put a little bit on the bridge of my nose I really really like the color so this color is really nice this formula is so easy to work with you only need a little bit so now i'm gonna go in with the danessa myricks yummy skin lift and flex concealer and this is in the shade five i'm gonna go ahead and apply a little concealer to the areas right here 
just a little bit right here and right here. This is the Nessa Myricks concealer. I really like the formula because it is, I would say like a soft matte formula that is super duper. Like it kind of makes me think of something that's stretchy. It kind of molds into wherever it is that you're trying to place it and it's still blurring and a little matte. It's just, it's perfect. I really, really like this concealer. I've been using it a lot since I got it. And now you're going to see how that concealer really helps to soften up that blush while still it's still there but it takes away it being too much and it just blends in flawlessly this concealer just makes me think of concealer and powder mixed together it has like this matte look to it as if it already had powder in the formula wow the skin, the skin looks really, really good. For bronzer, I'm going to be using a product that is not new. This is from Say, and this is the Sun Melt Bronzer. I didn't pick this bronzer up when I was getting hype, and I've heard so many good things about this. So I got it in the shade Light Bronze. This is a cream bronzer, so it looks like this. Oh yeah, this is really nice too. It goes on really nicely. It's not overly bronzy on me, so I can build it up without it looking too much. It gives the perfect amount of bronze. I think I could even go up one shade, but I do like how buildable this one is. Next up, we already have blush, we have bronzer. I'm gonna go ahead and powder, I think. So in my Sephora haul, I showed this powder, which is from Rare Beauty, and this is the True To Myself Tinted Press Finishing Powder. I got it in the shade Ivory, which looks like this. And I kind of want to do one side with this powder and the other side with this Benefit, the Professional Power Powder, which is also a new release. And it was sent over to me from Benefit. And I wanna try this out. It is a matte and blur loose setting powder. So I'm going to show you guys the Rare beauty on one side and how it really really mattifies the skin this powder is I would say on a different level I'm gonna make sure that my concealer is not creased but as you can see this concealer doesn't really it doesn't really crease up on me like that so it's really good for my skin type I'm really liking it so I'm gonna go ahead and put some powder on the puff and just apply the powder do you see how it just made the pores disappear? I just wish I would have gotten a lighter color so that I could brighten under the eye because this color matches my skin, but I would like a more brightening one. This powder is so, so good. It doesn't over dry the skin and you still have a little bit of a sheen, but as you can see, it really, really mattified the skin. So I do wanna try the Professional and this is the Matte and Blur Loose Setting Powder. I wanna try this out. So I'm going to be taking the same puff, but using the other side. And this is kind of like a peachy color. It's not too yellow, it's not too pink. I'm gonna go ahead and try it on this side. Ooh, this is really good too. The Benefit one is, wow, very impressive. Okay, so here's the side with the Professional. Here's the side with Rare Beauty. I will say the Rare Beauty definitely allows a little bit more of that glow to shine through, which I like, but the Matte and Blur is definitely more mattifying for sure. And I still have a little bit of a glow peeking through, but I think it's more than the Rare Beauty one but I'm really, really liking these right now. Okay, so now I'm gonna go ahead and bronze the skin. I'm gonna be using my House Labs. This is the Power Sculpt Velvet Bronzer in Light Level 4. I've had this bronzer for a while and I really, really like this bronzer. So I'm gonna go ahead and use my Hourglass brush. Oh yeah, this bronzer is really good. I haven't used it in a minute, but I really like how it blends out. So for the blush that I'm going to put on top, I'm going to use the Rare Beauty Powder Blush in the shade Cheer first. And I might add a little bit of Happy, but let me start off with Cheer. Oh, I love that blush. I'm gonna add a little bit of happy, but it's going to be towards the top here, just to add a little more pink. 
with a pencil brush and just put a little bit of shadow in the lower lash line. And I'm also going to take a little bit of my Essence Black Eyeliner and put that in the waterline. I know people don't do this anymore, but I do. I like the way that it looks. I know people say that it makes your eyes look smaller and sometimes I want that. I feel like the black liner just makes them look a little more like sultry. I'm gonna go ahead and put on some setting spray, which I'm going to try out this Professional Super Setter Spray. This is also another one that I don't think I tried when it was released. I remember it being released and it's supposed to be a long lasting makeup spray. So this claims to be a multitasking microfine mist that leaves skin feeling smooth, refreshed, and hydrated. Locks on makeup for 16 hours, instantly blurs pores, and it feels weightless and absorbs instantly. So it looks like this. Really cute packaging. Ooh, very nice mist. No strong scent, at least to me. It doesn't really smell like fragrance or anything and looks really nice. Now we're gonna go ahead and do our lips. I have two new lip liners from Fenty Beauty. I already used the Thugs Blush 2 and I wanted to use my peanut butter one, but the look is kind of pink, so I'm not sure if I should do a more pinky lip with Is It Fussy? I think I'm gonna do this one. I just got this one in the mail because I really liked it and it's a more pinky shade. So here are the shades together. So I wanna go with the pink one. So I'm gonna go ahead and use Thugs Blush 2. So whenever I'm doing my lips, I always use my powder puff, whatever's left on my powder puff, kind of go over my lips just so that they are not too sticky because sometimes liners will get messy. So I prefer for them to be completely matte. I'm gonna go ahead and line my lips with Thugs Blush 2. So this is Thugs Blush 2. I really like this shade as well. The ones that I have tried are really nice and I would like to add more to my collection, but these are pretty much the two types of liners that I go to is one that's like a brown color, which this one is a little bit more lighter. I think I want Rubber Bands, I think is the name, which is a little bit more dark brown than this one. And Thugs Blush 2 is a more pinky one. So really nice to have one of each. And then now I'm going to put on the Gloss Balm Stick in Is It Fussy? I tried it on yesterday just without any liner or anything when it came in the mail. So it's already all messed up. The formula is so soft and it melts. So I thought this is probably not going to last. But you literally just need little swipes because if you put too much, it can start getting very gunky. If you put too much, you just need a little bit and it's super duper pigmented, glossy. I really, really like this formula. All right, so I'm going to put on a little bit of lower lash mascara. This is the MAC Extended Play Giga Black Lash Mascara. I'm gonna let you guys know kind of like an overall what my thoughts are on the latest products. Lower lash mascara for me is my last step because if I put this on before I put on my setting mist, I'm going to get mascara everywhere. I do have pretty long lower lashes, so it's the very last thing that I do. So now that we are done, I'm going to go ahead and give a quick summary on the latest products that I have tried, starting off with the Ardell Brow Glue. This is really, really nice. I will say if you do not like a super strong hold, you might not like this, but if you're like me and your brows are just very stubborn and they don't stay up with other gels, this might be the answer, but just remember, put it on the brows, give it like maybe 30 seconds before you kind of start shaping them the way that you want. And that's going to save you a lot of time because if you try to make them lay flat. As soon as you put this on, they're just gonna keep on falling because it's not tacky yet. Give it a few seconds and then start brushing them up. As you can see, they are not moving, they are not going nowhere, and the pencils go on top of it really nicely. So I really don't have any complaints, but I will say if you're more like a, a natural hold gel type of person, this might be too much. The lip liners from Fenty, 10 out of 10, maybe even 20 out of 10. They're so good. They go on super creamy, but then once they set, they will not bust they will stay put. I have worn these I would say three to four times now and they last beautifully. 
same with the gloss bomb sticks very nice selection of shades they're very glossy very pretty and creamy on the lips they don't get too messy either i really like the way that they wear and they do last a long time for it being a glossy product i filmed videos the last time and the whole time that i was talking i didn't touch it up like i think until the end of me filming so these are really really nice the nars light reflecting hydrating primer loving it so far it worked perfectly with the foundations that i used today as well no pilling nothing it didn't make my makeup separate and i used two foundations over it so it did really really nice so i love this as well the charlotte tilbury unreal skin sheer glow tint foundation stick i think this is going to be like a must-have in my makeup collection would not recommend it for people who have very oily skin or if you're not looking for a very glowy look but as you can see once you powder it's not going to look super metallic or greasy or anything it will set really really nicely so i would say this is one worth looking into if you think that it will work in your makeup routine the makeup by mario new shades of the soft pop blush sticks definitely recommend i absolutely love watermelon the pomegranate was pretty pigmented but it blended out beautifully and i used soft peach already when i went out with my family and it was a really really nice shade as well so this formula is really nice it's easy to blend out i don't really use this little brush that comes with it but i haven't tried it so maybe i'll try it out one day these are so good i definitely recommend these for any skin type the benefit products that were sent over to me i'm so happy that they sent them to me because i haven't used the professional in so many years i would say maybe like more than five years for sure and the way that this felt on my skin, it made it feel so smooth. My makeup is super smooth and just laying so beautifully. No complaints, you guys no complaints on the face product so this is definitely one that if you're trying to blur smooth even fine lines and wrinkles i think this would look so nice so i'm really happy that i have this in my collection again matte and blur loose powder i am very impressed definitely mattified my skin blurred but it did not over dry my skin there are some powders that as soon as they touch your skin your skin kind of shrivels up and it looks horrible that didn't happen with this one for me at all the rare beauty feels set but i can still feel kind of like it doesn't feel as smooth and soft as this side i am very impressed with this powder i think this is a must have and i'm definitely going to add it to my makeup rotation and the face setter i liked it so far i don't feel any face itchiness which happens a lot with some setting mist and it just it goes on so evenly so smooth no complaints with this either the only thing that i am not completely in love with unfortunately is the smashbox eyeshadow palette and i was very excited about these these are the mood board eyeshadow palettes they're not horrible don't get me wrong i feel like the look looks beautiful right now i really love those shimmery shades but i feel like it took a lot of work i usually don't have to spend so much time blending my shadows the way that i did so i will say there are better palettes with like better formulas i really really love huda beauty's eyeshadow formulas i love natasha denona's juvia's place are affordable and their shadows are great i just feel like some of them are very loose they leave a lot of fallout and then the glitters or like the more shimmery shades feel like they're pressed tighter so you're not really getting like that beautiful very shimmery effect you really have to build it up for it to look that way i really really liked the way that my makeup came out today thank you so so much for hanging out with me let me know which products you're interested which ones you have tried or which ones you would like to try i can't wait to chat with you guys in the comments section that's going to be it for today's video so give this video a big thumbs up if you enjoyed it subscribe if you haven't subscribed and i will see you guys in my next video I don't have time for anything that's gonna harm me. It may be hard to understand. Words have the power to empower or destroy.